1973 D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS. According to Grading Service, the 1973 D. Washington Quarter is fairly common and can still be found in circulation. It is a little harder to find in MS-66 but with enough searching through mint sets or rolls they can still be found. It is very difficult to find examples grading MS-67 or higher. PCGS reported just five specimens, including this one with plus designation, with none finer. This quarter dollar ended up selling for $1,323 with buyer's fee. Number 3. 1971 quarter dollar. With double die reverse. Graded in mint state 65 by PCGS. All reverse legends are clearly die doubled in a counterclockwise direction. FS801 is extremely rare. Lustrous and unabraded with light to medium golden brown toning. One small spot noted above Washington's jaw. It ended up selling for $8,812.50. Number 2. Attractively toned 1968 D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, a top-grade registry coin with intense coloration and immaculate preservation. Lavender and powder blue interiors yield to deep olive gold, crimson, and lemon yellow peripheral hues. I appeal is superb. PCGS reports only 14 coins this fine and none finer as of December, 2023. This superb gem ended up selling for $8,812.50. Number 1. 1965 Washington Quarter struck on a silver planchet. Graded as AU58 by PCGS. AU standing for about uncirculated according to coin grading scale. A transitional alloy wrong planchet error, similar to the more famous 1943 bronze Lincoln cent. In 1965 and early 1966, quarters were struck in both silver and copper nickel format. The silver quarters were dated 1964, and the copper nickel quarters were dated 1965. Inevitably, a few of the planchets were diverted to unintended dyes, such as the present piece. Lightly toned with good luster, few marks, and a typical strike. It was sold for $14,687.50. Until next time, happy hunting, and don't forget to smash subscribe and like buttons. Take care.